everyone welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna to be unboxing the once upon a book club box for May 2019 once upon a book club is a monthly book subscription where you get a book as well as little gifts that correlate with page numbers and things that are going on in the book um, there's also kind of a book club format so um, you have questions and discussions that you can have on social media as well um, they have the adult one which is what I get and they also have a teen version of the box if that's something you're interested in um, after shipping it ends up being around 43 or 44 dollars a month um the actual box cost is less than that but after shipping it's like that um so i will go through all of the items that i got and then i'll go to the unboxing of the items um you can purchase boxes as a one-time purchase so i'll leave a link down below if you're interested in subscribing to the subscription but if you do want this um it's already sold out they may have copies of this or the kits together in their store at a later time if you'd be interested so this this month the book was Clover Blue by um, Eldona Edwards and I'll read a little snippet about the book here in a second um, but every month you also get the little pamphlet which talks about the book that month so this is the May box and then inside it shows you the pages where the gifts will be um, as well as they will have a meeting the author on June 11th at 7 p.m. Instagram uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on Instagram and then they also have the discussion questions and when they'll be asking them on social media so you can kind of um, talk with people there if you are super introverted and you don't want to go to an actual book club this is a great way to do it um, I usually just read the comments I don't usually participate but that is up to you so you also usually get a little print out of a quote in the book so this one says the soul cannot be stopped from searching for what it desires and they do it really pretty so if you wanted to display it somewhere you totally can if you like the quote so this month we got a hardcover book it usually rotates between hardcover and softcover and the book retails for 26 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and read about what the book is and then i will show you the wrapped gifts and unwrap them as well um Set against the backdrop of a 1970s commune in Northern California, Clover Blue is a compelling yet beautifully written story of a young boy's search for identity. There are so many things 12-year-old Clover Blue isn't sure of. The exact date of his birth, his name before he was adopted into the Saffron Freedom Community, or who his first parents were. What he does know with certainty is that among this close-knit nature-loving group, he is happy. Here, everyone is family, regardless of their um, disparate backgrounds, surfer, midwife, Grateful Dead groupie, Vietnam deserter. But despite his loyalty to the commune and its guru-like founder, Goji, Blue grapples with invisible ties towards another family, the one he doesn't remember. With the urging of his um, fearless and funny best friend, Harmony, Clover Blue begins to ask questions. For the first time, Goji's answers fail to satisfy. The passing months bring up upheavals to their little clan and another member arrives, a beautiful runaway teen named Rain, sparking new tensions. As secrets slowly unfurl, Blue's beliefs about Goji, the guidelines that govern their seemingly idyllic lives, and the nature of the family itself begin to shift. With each re revelation about a heartbreaking past he never imagined, Blue faces a choice between those he's always trusted and an uncertain future where he must risk everything in his quest for the truth. Part coming of age tale, part love story, part mystery, Clover Blue tenderly explores an unconventional but no less complex family that resonates with our deep rooted yearning for home. So it is a really interesting book. I really enjoyed it. It is not something that I would have ever picked up off the shelf, but they pick really, really good books every month. So if you're somebody who has a hard time picking good books, this is great. I read it within a couple of days. So that is the book. Um, let's see, how many pages is it? It was... 333 pages so that's how long this book was and that's what the font size looks like every book is different okay so the first gift was on page 81 and this is what it looks like the wrapping is always really cool and goes with the theme of the month and the next is on page 139 and that is what it looks like then on page 328 and on page 332. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into the unwrapping of the gifts. So if you think you might want to read this book and go through the gifts, you should probably stop now and you can go try to see if you can purchase it on the website. Um, they do have clues on their Instagram for the next month's book, so if you're interested, go check that out. And let's go ahead to page 81. I'll read a little snippet and then open the gift. Start us Stardust starts up the pathway towards us, her bangles and bells jang jangling. The sister mothers exchange eye rolls as Stardust approaches, wearing big hoop earrings, a colorful headscarf, and a jingly belt on her hips. So when you open this up, 
This is what is inside. So it has the headband from Stardust. I did wear this in another video, so you can just like, I'm not gonna really put it on now, but like you can wear it around your head. Um, I don't wanna mess up my hair, but like something like that, or you could put it under your hair, either way. You could put it, you know, like under, so it's not on top of your whole hair. And then these really fun tassel earrings. So let me try these on. I have used the um, bandana before, but not the earrings. Now they do feel like, the metal feels a little bit cheap, not gonna lie, um, but they're really cute. So let me go ahead and figure out if I can get this in my ear. Well, I'm struggling. Of course, on, on camera, I have to struggle. So that is what it looks like. Oh, that's really pretty. Let me put the other one in so that I'm not lopsided. They do have, they did come with little like um, rubber backers, but for this type of earrings, I don't always use the rubber backers. Let's see if I can get the other one in so that I'm balanced. There we go. This is what they look like. I think they're really pretty and fun. I'm, I love tassel earrings. Um, I don't think I have white ones and I love gold jewelry, so I'm fine with that. So I'll just wear those the rest of the video. Um, so that is the set that comes together. So the next gift is on page 139. All right. I hang willows and reins macrame design on hooks. So I wonder what this could be. So this is a little mini macrame wall hanging. Now, as you know, I love macrame wall hangings. I have one there, 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 and in my room. Um, so I'm excited to get another one. I know that some people are not into these. Um, so then this probably wouldn't be super useful. And that is the thing you do kind of get things um, with the story, but I think this is really cool and pretty and definitely goes with my aesthetic. And I'll be hanging this up once I get to my new apartment. So that's cool. Now, those are kind of really the only like gift gifts. The next things are like paper things. So we'll go through them and then I'll talk about how I feel about it. So the next um, thing is on page 328, which like the last two gifts are at the very end of the book. And every month the gifts are at different locations. All right. Um, I watched from the doorway as she works on a painting of a teenage rain for Heidi's graduation gift. So that is this gift here on page 328. And so there is the picture that they were talking about. Now, personally, I'm not into like this type of art, so it's not gonna be going up on my wall. <laughs> if you were, then this would probably be a more valuable gift for you. But to be honest for me, this is probably gonna end up in the recycles um, because I just, I'm just not that into it. And then the last um, gift is from page 332. We can get there. As we approach the village, I retrieve Heidi's senior pictures from my wallet and hand it to Tashi. So in here is the high school picture that they're talking about and it talks with her name on the age. Now, I don't really need this. So again, this is probably gonna end up in the recycle. So I like that the first gift ended up kind of having two because it has the headbands and the earrings and then you get the macrame. Um, I'm not a huge fan when we get like the paper gifts because they just end up in the recycle. Um, but usually when there's a hardcover book, you ha tend to have the more paper-like gifts. And if there's a paperback book, they tend to be able to put more items in just because of the costs of the difference between um, paperback and hardcover. Um, this book was definitely, I learned a lot and got a different perspective on certain things. Um, it was definitely a very interesting read, different from what I would normally read, but I still liked it. Uh, I am looking forward to the next month's, I can't remember if it's June or if it's July, but they're having like a Pride and Prejudice, but like an Indian version, and I'm so ready for that. I'm so into that. I love Pride and Prejudice, so I'm really cool to see what that's going to be like. I don't remember if that's June or July, so don't quote me, but if you go to their Instagram, you can find that all out. Again, I will leave a link down below if you are interested in signing up. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.